So we're, we're looking at uh, choosing alternatives based on total cost and using the crossover analysis. So uh, in this problem I have um, three different alternatives and then I'm, I can look at uh, low cost gas and high cost gas, but I'm going to focus right now on just on the low cost gas. I've created a variable cost per mile which combines um, the, the fuel price which is just um, per mile which is just determined by uh, or fuel cost per mile which is determined by the the um, price per gallon divided by miles per gallon and then it, adding that to the vehicle operating cost per mile and then so that gives me a variable cost and so for my fi my um, crossover points I'm using this formula fixed cost 2 minus fixed cost 1 divided by variable cost 1 minus variable cost 2 and if you see that in Excel then it's uh, the fixed costs are here um, fixed cost 2 uh, is uh, D5 minus C5 and then the variable cost um, would be C11 uh, minus D11 and that would be this number right here and this is in this is a crossover point in miles we calculate do that for all three of the alternatives and then how do I decide um, which alternative to choose and I want to show you two different ways. First of all, I can just sort of step through it logically. First, I'm going to calculate the crossover points and miles. I've done that. Second, I'm going to choose the lowest fixed cost alternative at zero volume. So I look up here at low cost. See, so at zero volume, that's the only cost I have is the fixed cost. And of course, the 2013 Corolla is the lowest. So I'm going to choose the 2013 Corolla from, that's supposed to be zero, from zero to something. Well, um, I'm going to stay with an alternative until another one beats it. So I'm going to choose 2013 Corolla from 0 to, and then I look up here at the alternative. So if we numbered the alternatives, 1, 2, and 3. So this is the crossover between alternative 1 and alternative 2, and this is the crossover between alternative 1 and alternative 3. So alternative 1 loses out to alternative 2 first, and that's at a volume of a, um, or a quantity of 139,306 miles. So I will choose the 2013 Corolla from 0 to 139,306 miles. The next step says choose the alternative that beat out the previous winner. Well, this was beaten out by um, alternative 2, which is the new Prius. So I'm going to choose the Prius from that point and actually since it's a decimal I'll choose on either side of that so I chose the Corolla at 139,306 I'll choose the Prius at 139,307 do that until some point and you again stay with an alternative until another one beats it well um, I look at the Prius which is alternative 2 and um, it beat alternative 1 here what's happening here um, this is going backward in time and I know that alternative one was the best up until 139 so what's happening here really is that alternative um, two is beating alternative three at 89,996 and so by the time we get out here to 139,000 um, alternative uh, three has already been eliminated by alternative two so the Prius wins from there on out. Now you just continue until you've exhausted all possibilities. Now you can we can do it another way as well and I'm going to come back in the second video and show you um, how to graphically decide.